Hello everybody and welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and to my latest episode of Top 5 where I give you guys the top 5 and some topic in progressive rock and invite you guys to give your top 5s in the comments down below. It's always a lot of fun to be able to talk about these topics, most of them generated by my wife and we come up with these and try to give our best thoughts forward. Uh, I basically just come up with a list off the top of my head. I don't like do a ton of research or look up expert opinions or anything. That's the whole fun of the show is just off the top of my head with my prior prog knowledge. This is what I came up with and these are some of my favorites. And so, of course it's a very uh, subjective list. This isn't any objective truth here. This is just my favorites, my taste. And uh, hopefully some of you share some of my taste and can give your guys' taste in the comments below, like I said. So uh, today I'm talking about female-fronted prog bands, which I was inspired to do this topic because I did a review of OK Goodnight's new album this week, a female-fronted progressive metal band that I just have fallen in love with. I love female vocals. I wish there was more of it in prog music, frankly. But the ones we have are just complete gems, and I wanted to spend a little 10-minute episode here talking about some of my favorites. And first of all, to give a short list of some I considered but didn't feel like they really fully fit the topic at hand, because there's a lot of bands where there's female singers in the mix, but they're not the, either they're not the primary singers or they're one of several primary singers where there's also a male singer or male singers involved also. So I was thinking about Alina Gibson from Kaipa, who's an incredible vocalist, but she shares vocals with uh, a male vocalist as well in the project. But she's incredible in her Kaipa uh, recordings, especially in the recent era of Kaipa is what I'm talking about here. Excellent symphonic prog from Sweden, one of my favorite groups. Uh, the band is from the U.S., one of my favorite prog bands that I feel... Uh, don't get enough attention for what they do. Has a, a duo of really great female vocalists, Anne-Marie Burns and Laura Mead, uh, great vocalists who come in and provide a lot of great additional vocals to the sound of the band. So I think they're worth mentioning. Fido features a lot of uh, female vocals in his albums. Uh, Valerie Gracious is the main uh, contributor to those female vocals on his classic run of albums through Doomsday Afternoon up to Infernal. Uh, really love her work on those albums. Uh, Glass Hammer has featured a couple of female vocalists. Susie uh, Bogdanowitz in their earlier era, and more recently Hannah Pryor has been the vocalist on their most recent few albums, who I've loved her voice as well. Um, so another great American prog band, a little bit underrated. Uh, Mirror, which is a band I've been loving, who had one of my favorite albums. In fact, I considered it my favorite album of 2021. They have a female singer, uh, but of course, a, kind of a duo with a male singer as well. Her name is Johan Marguerite Kipersund Nestal. A really cool singer, really great vibe to that band, Crossover Prog from Norway. Uh, Solstice came out with an album this year that had incredible female vocals from Jess Holland, so I really like them. And then a, a personal favorite of mine, Dirt Poor Robins, features a lot of female vocals from Kate DeGrade. Of course, it's like a husband and wife duo where they both share vocal duties, but her vocals are really fantastic. I encourage anyone to check out Dirt Poor Robins. They're one of my favorite groups that don't get mentioned enough, much in the vein of like the Deer Hunter, this more eclectic rock style, maybe not pure prog like the classic era, but really creative rock music done usually around a concept. So really cool stuff. A couple of honorable mentions beyond that. Exploring Birdsong is a recent project band. Lindsay Ward is the female vocalist there. Great piano driven prog from Liverpool. Had a great EP come out this year. As I mentioned, OK Goodnight. Uh, check out my review of that. Casey Lee Williams is the lead vocalist there. Incredible singer. Infinian. Uh, Chrissy Loftus is the singer there. Eclectic prog from the U.S. Very jazzy and complex and really cool style of prog there. Uh, one that probably would be expected on the list, but I just don't know enough about this band to really put it as one of my favorites is uh, Curved Air and Sonia Christina. I think Curved Air, along with one other band that I'll get to on my list, are really the two prime examples of classic female-fronted prog bands. Kind of sad that there really is two main ones that come to mind. I'm sure there's many others, and I'm counting on all of you in the comments to bring up all of the classic prog bands with female vocals. 
Uh, but getting into my list proper here, uh, where the main lead singer is the female vocalist, Bent Knee is my number five pick, crossover prog from the U.S., it's hard to consider this traditional prog because they do so many different things and they're so quirky and eclectic. But Courtney Swain is the lead vocalist here and she plays the keyboards and she's just fantastic. Has this really expressive voice with a lot of different qualities to it. Will do these wailing sounds and these really cool different quirky things to her voice reminding of like Bjork or, or some of the more eclectic artists of that time. I really love their run of albums between Say So, Land Animal, and you know what they mean. Their latest album, Frosting, which came out in 2021, really leaned more into their poppier aesthetic and didn't really work as well for me. But that trio of albums, uh, Say So, Land Animal, and You Know What They Mean, is just a classic group of really eclectic, interesting, modern sounding prog that I think is worth checking out. And her vocals are really expressive and interesting. Uh, number four, I have Magenta, neo prog from the UK. Uh, Christina Booth is the lead vocalist here. I uh, really love Magenta and their sound. They really lean into that classic symphonic prog sound, really have a lot of DNA with that Yes style quality. And I think her vocals really bring this up to a new level. She's fantastic. And their neo prog sound is just really fun and gives her a lot of chance for expression in her vocals. And there's been some concept albums they've done, some longer epic pieces. And it's just a really fun band to explore that have had a myriad of different releases that have all been great and all been really fun. So I really definitely wanted to mention Magenta in my list. Number three, I have District 97, crossover prog from the U.S. Uh, Leslie Hunt is the lead vocalist here. Um, and she, interestingly enough, she actually competed on the uh, reality TV competition American Idol. Uh, but she didn't make it too far on that show, it seems, maybe in the top 24 or something like that. Um, but she's become a prominent figure in this quirky little prog group, and I really love their output. I especially love their first three albums, really fun stuff, quirky and at times a little bit heavy. Uh, she has a really great style to her vocals as well and brings a lot of character to to the project. I like her solo works as well, much more poppier and in that vein, but I think she's an incredible vocalist, and this is a band worth hearing. I think they deserve more attention also. They do a lot of stuff now on like their Kickstarter, and so they have a pretty uh, lively scene on that platform, um, but they're really cool and worthy of greater attention because they have some really fantastic, quirky prog albums, maybe in line with like some of the King Crimson energy, uh, some really cool stuff going on in their sound. Uh, number two, I have I Am The Morning uh, from Russia. This is a beautiful uh, duo, basically. Gleb Kolyadin on classical piano, essentially. And Mariana Simkina is the lead vocalist here and also plays a little bit of other stuff as well. But she's an incredible vocalist and really brings this project to life with these heavenly, beautiful ethereal vocals that just reach to the heavens and are just some of my favorites in the genre. Hopefully they'll have a new project at some point. Um, I know they've had a lot of setbacks and a lot of weird things happen in their career, but they are a fantastic duo and craft some of the most beautiful, poignant uh, progressive rock out there. I really love Gleb's classical piano. Uh, provides the perfect backdrop to her beautiful ethereal vocals, which are just next level beautiful to me. I just think she's one of the greatest modern vocalists out there. Uh, number one, kind of hard to deny, I think this is maybe the most obvious pick on the board, is Renaissance. Symphonic Prague, of course, from the UK, from the classic era of progressive rock. Annie Haslam is the vocalist here, a legendary Prague vocalist. She's fantastic. Just everything she puts her stamp on is just beautiful. Her vocals just have so much range and so much beauty, and she brings so much character to these pieces. I think she's a worthy number one female vocalist because uh, without her, I just don't think Renaissance would really work. You know, her vocals are so essential and such an important part of their sound, and you know, she basically is Renaissance in my mind because of the power of her vocals and how beautiful they are, paired with some incredible lyricism and just a really beautiful aesthetic. So I think she deserves the number one spot, or Renaissance in general deserves that number one spot for just being a fantastic female-fronted prog band 
that carries the torch for that in a field that's very lacking of female uh, talent, I'd say, and just in general, not just with vocals, but any instrumentalists. Uh, they're out there, but I wish there was more you know, more equality in that way in some respects. So, but a really cool group of artists here, really great bands. I love female fronted prog bands. I love female vocals. When they're well done, they're just, they bring another level and, and impact me in a big way in the music that they're a part of. So, uh, let me know in the comments, some of your favorite female vocalists or female fronted prog bands. I'd be happy to hear about them. I, I, I'm always on the, the lookout for more of them. So please let me know and hopefully enjoyed the episode. Thank you guys for joining me and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye everybody.